Hello, God bless you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm going to start about now. I am an ex Christian. While that does not mean I do not worship the God ideal, October 20th, 2012. I am an ex Christian. While that does not mean that I do not worship the God ideal, because I see God in everything and nothing, God is more and less to me. God is more than any ideal I might create of in my mind, and at the time less any ideal I can try to dream up. Have you ever tried to picture God in your mind? You can draw it powerful enough one line seems not be enough in too many. While some will say I am not a true ex-Christian, but I tell you I have no dogmas to destroy anymore. I am following no person ideals, I am following my own heart. I have put aside all Christian stories alone with atheist guesses. I have everything aside not that I do not read Christian books or atheist books for ideals of how my heart sees things. But I make up my own mind on the love of God or lack of it I not longer listen to vain men who puff themselves up. My love is my own to do with as I see best. My time is my own to do with as I see best. While I worship a God ideal, it is my choice to follow the ideals that want. Now that does mean I am right or even wrong, I am just doing as my heart leads from the love God taught me to creative in my life. God is no respecter of persons but I tell you greater truth God is no respecter of anything even himself. God does not want you to become a robot God want you to learn what love is seeing him for what he is. God is love but can be hate too. There is just as much to prove God hates as there is to prove God loves. God is just the label we have given him. God is no more or no less than our imaginative ideals gives God. So people can create a God has hate it in your ideal of who God is to you. So God can be love or he can be hate it of each person to decide their self. Just like rules you can obey everyone, or you can take your changes and do as you want everything has a punishment so do not cry to me if you get what you have sowed. As I mediate on the things in my life, I get a better understanding of what it is to be alive mediating on the things of love that bring me joy in my life. It is the little things that me the most joy in my life like watching a young boy discovering what it to love candy. The fun in playing with him on simple things games that seem be of no value at all but they teach the boy about his world that he live in. The eyes of the boy are on me, his parents and the other people in his world, his whole world is the group of people in his life, but my eyes see more. In my eyes I see the whole universe and more but the little boy only, the people close to him. The things we see depends on how big we created our world around ourselves. Thank you. With love and a holy kiss from Roy. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Thank you and I, and I hope this is good. Thank you.